The Salesforce Summer 24 release is just around the corner and the release notes have finally arrived. You can find everything you need to know about how to prepare and when your instance will be upgraded in our article here, which you can find linked in the description below. But for now, let's dive into the 15 hottest declarative features of the Salesforce Summer 24 release, which is five more than our usual 10. It's a busy one. In the race to the top of your industry, one detail can trip you up, like the handoff of work, for example. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be this way. Work Relay, a Salesforce app by Neo Stella, ensures the right work is done by the right person at the right time. No dropped batons, we promise. Team up with Work Relay today at salesforcebend.com forward slash work. For feature number one, we have the new Automation Lightning app, the home for all things automation related. Users that have access to the app can see flows, errors, and other community-based links from within the main application. This is the first time we've seen something like this outside of the setup menu. Exciting, right? And number two, we have Einstein for Flow. Einstein for Flow is a generative AI tool that allows users to create workflows based on a text prompt. Simply describe your automation using natural language, and Einstein for Flow will generate a draft flow for you. For example, you could type, I want to create a flow that sends a notification to sales representatives when a lead is converted to an opportunity. Einstein for Flow would then generate the code for a workflow that does exactly that. Need help figuring out where to start? No problem. Einstein for Flow comes complete with sample instructions to help, as you can see here. Once your draft flow is generated, be sure to check, debug, and test it. This feature is available in Lightning Experience for the following additions. In addition to explaining formulas, Einstein for Formulas can now help you fix formula syntax errors. Click Use Formula Assistant and you'll see the suggested fix provided by Einstein for Formulas. I know this will help me out immensely over the next year. At number four, you'll be pleased to know that you can now quickly and easily add new custom fields to dynamic forms. This has been a much requested enhancement and is sure to help speed up the deployment of new fields to dynamic forms. To get started, create your custom form as usual. Following the step to set field level security, there is a new step to select which lightning record pages to add the new field to. Please note that if you don't have any dynamic forms enabled pages, then this additional step will not appear. Bringing yet more feature parity between standard page layouts and dynamic forms, you can now add a blank space to dynamic form enabled pages. A small change, but one that can significantly improve the appearance of a page. This image uses blank spaces to align the website field with parent account. One thing to note is that a blank space is considered a field and counts against the limit of 200 fields per region. For feature number six, you can now customize tab visibility, making individual tabs conditionally visible based on the criteria you set. This means that if certain users should only have access to certain tabs, then this can be applied using the set component visibility setting, just like any other component. Another handy addition. Next up, we've got the ability to create rich text headings in the Lightning App Builder. Rich text can be given new styling values such as heading one and heading two using the new drop-down menu in the rich text component editor. You can now preview your dynamic form enabled pages in the compact density setting in the Lightning App Builder. Previously, compact density was not respected when previewing a page in the Lightning App Builder. Salesforce offers two display densities that can improve navigation. Comfy, which is a spacious view that takes up more space with labels on top of fields and increased space between page elements. And Compact, a denser view with labels to the left of fields and less space between page elements. Just another way you can subtly enhance your user experience. At number nine, you can now find a field history tracking page in Setup where you can control both the tracked objects as well as the fields. Additionally, you can easily see the number of tracked fields right from the get-go before starting to make any changes. On this page, you can swiftly update the fields for multiple objects one after another, rather than navigating to each one separately in Object Manager. As you can see here, the list of fields opens in a side panel, where changes can also be saved right before moving on to the next object from the main list. We're very happy to announce that users may now create and apply their own labels to records to help organize and locate the records they need. 
Users maintain their own labels, no admin setup required, and these labels can be added to... Personal labels are different from topics. Labels are private and cannot be seen by other users, but it's pretty extensive, right? Next up, intelligent views will display standard and custom actions to boost user productivity when using these views. Check it out right here. Speaking of the list view tab, you can now expect better performance from your list views due to several changes behind the scenes. List views for custom objects will now render with Lightning Web Components instead of Aura, which is much faster. At number 13, you can now more easily understand what is included in a permission set or permission set group. The new interface that displays all enabled object user field and custom permissions on one page. Our penultimate feature on this list is definitely one to be excited about. Troubleshooting user permissions and access just got a little bit easier with the user access summary on a user record. The summary view will display various permissions and memberships in an easy to use view. Finally, at number 15 on this list, we have the ability to automate and migrate user access with user access policies. This feature is now generally available. User access policies allow you to declaratively define access for groups of users in a single operation. For example, you can specify a group of users to grant or revoke access to a permission set license, permission sets, permission set group, package, licenses, queues, and groups. User access policies are now generally available and you can now create 200 active policies. Previously, you could only create 20. And that's it for the lowdown of the hottest Salesforce Summer 24 release features for admins. What other features have you spotted? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our dedicated release posts for developers, marketers, and Flownatics. You can find these linked in the description below.